On this episode, I talk about mistakes, forests, lunch, and keynotes. You ask questions, and I answer them. This is the Ask Gary V Show. Everybody, this is Gary Vay Nurchuk, and welcome to episode number 42 of the Ask Gary V Show. No fun facts, just thunder. Matthew says, Hello, Gary. Why do you rarely mention YouTube in your digital recommendations despite the 1 billion active users per month? Em, this is a great question, and I, I, I'm really glad you asked it because it allows me to uh, address this head on on the Ask Gary V Show. Uh, The reason I don't mention YouTube a lot and and didn't have it at the bottom logo of Jab, 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 Right Hook, D-Rock, you can show it, um, is a really interesting thing that I've thought about quite a bit, which is uh, because I'm making a mistake. And, you know, boy, do I hate talking about that stuff. Uh, You know, here's what I think happened. I jumped on YouTube so early back in 2006 wrote Crush It in 2009 about how YouTube and video would make a lot of people famous, a lot of stuff that's happening now. And in a weird way, I think that, you know, I jumped to Vidler in 2007, so I didn't see through the YouTube thing, that was a mistake as well. Um, I, I think that it's a foregone conclusion in the back of my mind, like that I have YouTube on a pedestal that is even above everything else, maybe besides Facebook. And I just haven't done a good job. As a matter of fact, one of the reasons I started the Ask Gary V show is to get a little bit back into the YouTube culture. And so, honestly, I think that the reason I don't mention it and dig into it and push it harder is because I thought I figured that out and kind of pushed that out with Crush It and was so associated with that. But that wore out in 2011 and I've just done a piss poor job of continuing that narrative and, and it's, a, it's a hole in my tool belt uh, in the way that I communicate. Obviously, I take it seriously. And so, you know, uh, the reason I don't mention it is because I'm making a mistake. Yash says, you changed the intro music. Why? Yash, cuz. Vernon asks, what's one question you ask in interviews? Vernon, I really like this question. I'm really excited to, uh, to take a stab at it. I don't do it every time. I'm not one of these guys who's like, this is my go-to question. Like, when you were 13 and you went through a forest and you picked, like, no, I don't have any of these weird things. Or, but I do always, especially I think if there's a lot of momentum in the, uh, in the interview, I love to ask people to tell me at this moment in time what they see the professional career becoming. Like I I wanna get into the psychology of what their ambition is and I pretty much spend most of the interview trying to get somebody comfortable enough to tell me the truth to that question because I don't care if you wanna be the CEO of VaynerMedia, if you wanna just be a, a, move a couple levels up and have great work-life balance. I don't care if you even wanna come here and work for me for two years, suck out my IP and then go start your own agency. I don't care what your agenda is. I just wanna know what it is so I can help us get there. Because the truth is, I wanna keep people in my ecosystem forever and the best way to do that is to deliver to them what they want and so the quicker I can get into that insight, are you work-life balance, are you money hungry, are you title hungry, are you entrepreneur and just coming in here for learnings, I don't care, I just need to know. The quicker I know and the quicker it's the truth, the quicker we can do things forever together and so that is usually the essence of the interview question for me. Can I tap through, can I feel that I'm getting there because that gives me a blueprint map. Not only that, I have the self-awareness and I try to talk to them about this, that that will change. You know, being a 24-year-old dude, 26-year-old female, it's gonna change. You're gonna fall in love, your life's gonna change, are you gonna start a family? When you make a little bit more money, it becomes less interesting. Like, there's so many different things that are going on in one's life. When you make a little money, it becomes way more interesting. You get the bud, bug, the, the, the blood's in the water. I, I don't care, I just need the communication funnel and I want it to start from day one, five minutes in to getting to know each other. Sarah asks, as a private music teacher, I have limited hours to teach. What are your thoughts on how to increase my income or build a brand? Sarah, I have a lot of thoughts on this. It's, it's called the Crush It Manifesto, which is, you know, there's plenty of damage between 11 p.m. and three in the morning. You know, I, I get it, you teach, uh, you know, 
I don't know, like teachers to me are actually, my sister's a teacher, like they have the most time to do other stuff. They have fairly good schedules. Like there's, a, there's the summer. There's, a, you know, and again, maybe you've got a different kind of teaching thing. But to me, if you want to build more of a, a scalable brand, you got to put out content. You got to look at things like Skillshare where you can put out your teachings and sell that. Um, there's a lot of ways to do it. Technology has created an enormous opportunity for you to scale it. You can do, you know, you can do live spree casts and Google Hangouts that only have access to people that pay. Um, I would recommend putting out a lot of content at first as a gateway drug to the opportunity to charge people so you can establish yourself. But this whole notion of like, where's the time? Uh, you know, I need more time. It, I just, I just think people are loaded with excuses. They aren't auditing themselves. They don't realize that they're watching you know, every season of Homeland and Game of Thrones. They don't realize that they're having an hour and 15 minute lunch. Like, lunch. Like, I've had two lunches. Robert Souza, our new SVP, made me go to a lunch to meet somebody. I was pissed. I was like, why couldn't we do that as 11 p.m. drinks? Like, lunch? Like, leaving and having lunch? The inefficiency of that time? So, you know. I'm pissed at lunch and I'm pissed at Game of Thrones and I'm pissed at playing video games and I'm pissed at a lot of things in a world where somebody wants more financially or career-wise. I love it for the people that need it to escape. I love it for people that are content with their monies and their career path. I love it. As a matter of fact, I envy it. Boy, if somebody could take a shot and suck out some of my ambition, I'd be really pumped. You want to do a startup? Create a suck out the ambition app. I'd be really happy about that because I'd love to be able to take a lunch. I'd love to be able to relax and play Madden against somebody in Iowa because that's how you can play Madden these days with the kids for the last 10 years. But I haven't been playing it because I've been hustling because that's what I want. And so, whether you're 100 or zero, you just want to zen and live in a mountain with no technology, or you want to buy the jets and hustle your face off, or anything in between, you need to find your cadence. And so if you're asking this question, my intuition is you're spending an hour or two on things every day that aren't achieving this extra brand or extra monies that you're chasing. So cut that crap out and apply it to these things, putting out content, writing content, making videos, building up a brand, engaging with people, going to Twitter search, twitter.com slash search, searching teachings around, you know, keywords around the things you teach, engage with people, say hello, cold call, so somebody shout that out in the YouTube uh, comments yesterday, we talked about that, as a matter of fact, link up that video, people need to watch it, that's a classic, I don't know where you want it, D-Rock, but you guys know which video I'm talking about, the cold call, I had a shaved head in there. Anyway, the bottom line is, you need to recalibrate to your, to your ambitions. By the way, it may be going from seven hours of sleep to five hours of sleep because you need all those lunches and video games and that's fine but if you want it, you just gotta go and do that. Thank you so much for watching episode 42 of the Ask Gary V Show. Felt good about it. Had an interesting demeanor. Had an interesting demeanor. Yeah, right D-Rock? D-Rock. He's got my demeanor meter down so can I get a demeanor meter? Like, if, can we get a demeanor meter kind of like infographic here? Um, Thanks for watching the show. I'm really enjoying it and I'm really feeling the impact. I'm starting to get emails already from people that have done certain things from episode 16, 19, 23. How about episode 23, by the way? You know, I, I, I just did that for no reason. Uh, people are going to go back. Uh, I appreciate that. I love that interaction. And uh, you keep asking questions. I'll keep answering them. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a video question, right? Let's do the video question. Jab, 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 right hook is actually what I do. Give, 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 and then ask. You keep asking questions, I'll keep answering them. And welcome, Ask Gary Vee. Do you consider yourself in the Vayner Nation or do you consider yourself a Vayniac? Ishmael, somebody is very smart. You've got me pegged. Absolutely, I'm excited about building the brand equity of the Ask Gary Vee Show so I can have my ambition. And you've probably heard me say this five to ten times in my career, so you might have a leg up from anybody else who hasn't heard this. 
Nothing would excite me more. Look, I've contemplated television and other things to build up my profile so that my keynotes going forward can be me walking into an auditorium, an event, and just going directly into Q&A, Ask Gary V style, because the truth is, that's where you can bring the most value. If people walk in with context of who I am and my spiel, we can get right to it, which is really bringing the value, which is why this show matters so much. So yes, my friend, the answer to your question is a big fat Y-E-S. I like the Ask Gary V show content concept to be my new keynote. Hey everybody, this is Gary Vay, Nerd Chuck, and you're watching. <clears throat> hey everybody, this is Gary Vay, Nerd Chuck, and you're... <laughs> hey everybody, this is Gary Vay, Nerd Chuck, and <laughs> You like that? <laughs> oh crap, wait, subscribe! <laughs> I need subscriptions because I can't push this many right hooks in social, so subscribe!